Hello everyone and welcome back to Cobian History. Today is the second episode of my Tree of Life series. In the last episode we had a look at the last universal common ancestor of all life on Earth. And today we are gonna see how it evolved into the three domains of life that we know today. Which are bacteria, archaea and eukaryotes. There are multiple different theories that try to explain the evolutionary relationship between them, but the most widely accepted today is a three domains hypothesis, which sees bacteria split off first and eukaryotes splitting off later from archaea. Bacteria developed an early form of photosynthesis to produce their own energy, but this early form of photosynthesis did not yet form oxygen as a byproduct. It would not be until the later evolution of cyanobacteria around 3000 million years ago that photosynthesis started producing oxygen. Organisms of this group are sometimes also called blue-green algae, but officially the term algae is only used for eukaryotes. Cyanobacteria are the only prokaryotes that produce oxygen. They had a huge impact on Earth's atmosphere, greatly increasing the oxygen. Other bacteria diversified further to take advantage of other sources of energy. You can see a list of some on screen now. Archaea and bacteria are generally similar in size and shape, although a few archaea have quite unique shapes not seen in bacteria such as the flat and square shaped cells of Haloquadratum Wellsby, which was discovered in a brine pool in the Sinai Peninsula of Egypt. They evolved different ways of acquiring energy, which are more similar to eukaryotes than bacteria. Some archaea, known as extremophiles, live in extreme environments which were once thought to be inhospitable for life such as hot springs and salt lakes. The first evidence of eukaryotes is thought to date from around 1850 million years ago and are thought to have evolved from archaea. They are characterized by the nucleus of their cells being enclosed in membranes. Sometime soon after they evolved, an early eukaryote would absorb a prokaryotic cell and somehow not digest it. When the eukaryote reproduced, the prokaryotic cell would reproduce with it. And this is thought to be how mitochondria came to be part of our cells. Eukaryotes started off as single-celled organisms, but some would later evolve to become multicellular. And that's what we will see in the next episode, when we will take a look at the diversification of eukaryotes into plants, fungi and animals. I hope you've enjoyed. On screen now you can find a link to the playlist of this series as well as a link to subscribe to my channel.